Uh, hello and welcome back to the channel. Um, we're going to have another look at the kind of ongoing butchering of um, Batman's Thomas and Friends Reneas model to turn it into a better representation of Dolgok. And <clears throat> we've got to the point where I'm starting to do some detailing. Particularly, I wanted to look at uh, detailing the kind of um, the boiler back head. Um, now, I think I mentioned in the previous video that somebody had put me on to the fact that there was a, a photo that at one point had appeared, at least in the Times newspaper back in the 50s. Um, giving a fairly good view into the into the cab. Um, that it turned out I already had a copy of that photo. I'd just completely forgotten about it because it turns up in this book, Railway Adventure, by uh, LTC Rolt. Now um, I'd actually forgotten I'd got this book because I've never actually read it all the way through. Um, in fact, I don't think I've read much past the introduction. Um, it's a sad story, really. If you're into railways, railway modelling, and um, thinking about your own mortality on occasions um so i picked this up a couple of years ago um at the kirkley's light railway um we'd gone to one of their um end of summer uh gala weekends um which if you've not been before either to the railway in general or to the gala weekend it's really really good and um, they have as many of their engines out as possible they usually have visiting locos uh, and just basically running the trains up and down the line um pretty much as frequently as possible and so you get lots of good shots of the very good views of the engines plenty of um fun to be had riding them down the line lots for the kids to do uh, at both ends it's a, it's a really nice uh, place i'll give a link to the the website for the railway in the description um <clears throat> but a couple of years ago now when i last when when we went um in the carriage shed they had a couple of really big long tables out covered and i mean absolutely covered in uh, railway books that were being sold um, and it turned out that one of their regular volunteers had sadly passed away um, and I'm assuming their widow or, or, or whatever had, had, had cleared out all the railway books that they didn't want and they'd literally just been put on the table with a with a with a, a, a book bucket asking for essentially donations for the books um, I don't know whether anybody had been through and taken out anything that was particularly expensive or valuable but it, there was no no prices on any of the books, it was just tell what you want, give a donation. Um I probably overpaid uh for this given its its condition. Um but the money was all going to the railway and it just seemed so sad that all these books were sat out on the table. Um I think the the trick is if you have expensive modelling stuff, be that books or models, make sure that um other people in your life know how much they're worth. I mean I've got some books that are worth, you know, Probably upwards of a hundred pounds just for a single book um, because of the the, the little print run or, or whatever. Um, and people need to know that they're worth things and they're not just kind of thrown on a second hand pile afterwards. Anyway, that brings us on to this brilliant photo <coughs> on page seventy four, uh, which shows the inside of the cab of Dogok. Um and you can see so you can see the back head here. Uh, that was just plain plastic on the original uh, Batman model. So obviously there's lots of things I can add. Um, the cab has controls and things have changed over time, so this isn't what's there now. Um, I'll discuss that in a minute. But you can see we have the regulator handle. We have a, a sight glass for the boiler, um, so we can tell that there's water in it. This one's nice. I, this one's different, I think. Than a lot, a lot of the ones you see are kind of square uh, with the with the water inside. This one appears to be a round. A tube with just a narrow glass in the side, so that's a little different. Um, there's the firebox door, uh, which is just kind of straight handle across it. A uh, little shelf, oil can, always important. Uh, and then there are two taps on that side. I believe they're they're like the side glass, but essentially you can you should get kind of water out of one and steam out of the other. Um, so there's not a huge amount to add, uh, but there is there is some detail to add. Um, so I've been having a go at doing that. <clears throat> and this is the current progress, if the camera will focus. So it's a bit messy looking, um, and not everything is straight or anything like that, but you can see that I've kind of added regulator, um, the sight glass, a firebox door with a, with a handle and a little bit of a hinge detail, uh, and a shelf. And my hope is that once that's all painted, mostly black, um, it will give a right the right impression, uh, rather than being something that's... Um, ridiculously uh, accurate and I mean we did the same I did the same on um, Scarlo when I converted Scarlo to Talalin I did something that was representative rather than accurate but it's kind of if you look in through the 
through the doorway, which is all you'll ever get to see, then hopefully the idea is that there's some there's some suggestion of of controls and things, and it's not just it's not just bare not just bare plastic. Um, so that's looking that's looking pretty good. As I say, I think it should look um, a lot better uh, once it's all um, painted, even just with a black primer, um, just to kind of draw all the parts um, together. Now, me being me, um, there is something uh, missing from this, and that, of course, if you look at the photo, is the oil can. So this is just me being ridiculous, really, but um, yeah, trying to see it in the camera is going to be fun. But there you go, oil can, and it will fit on the on the shelf. I need to possibly work on the spout a little. It's a bit too pointy upwards. I think I need to curl it down slightly. Um, but my hope is that, again, I'll paint it, it'll get stuck to the shelf and you'll almost never be able to see it, but I'll know it's I'll know it's there. Um, so yeah, I mean it's not it's not a lot of progress, but um, obviously all those parts had to be um, made, cut, shaped by hand. The, the actual the sight glass, I've tried to do it kind of like it is in the picture, so it's not just a little bit of circular tubing stuck on, but it's actually a piece of tubing with a uh, a wire. It's difficult to tell in here. With a wire running down the tube, you can just about see it at the edges, and then the wire goes into the into the back head, top and bottom. Um, it's probably a bit easy to see on the underside. I've kind of folded them over to hold it in place, um, which means it stands proud slightly of the back head, as it does in the in the real photo. Um, I decided not to bother with trying to model the two taps. I decided they'd just be so small you wouldn't see them again. When you're looking at this through the through the cab doorway, which is all you're going to see. There isn't exactly um, going to be much that you can see in there, especially when it's all painted black and hidden and possibly a driver figure and everything. So, um, yeah, I've not bothered with the taps. Um, but yeah, so next step will be to um, to prime that and then have a have a look, um, make sure it looks it looks okay. I mean, the nice thing about this is essentially all of this part needs to be black. Um, <clears throat> so I think I haven't quite decided yet. I think the splash the splashes will be painted. Uh, the body colour, which will probably be the same green as I used on um, Tally Lin, um, but essentially the rest of this is black. I'm going for the same as before. I'm going for black uh, buffer beams, uh, black running boards, black cab floor, uh, back black back head, and then obviously I'll pick out the details with the of the colours and things there if necessary. But um, yeah, so I'll pr prime this with a black primer. Um, Tie all the colour, all the parts together, and then we'll have another, another look. It'll also hopefully show up if there's any places that need a, a further rub down um, before any more more painting. Um, I can always do a second, second black coat if necessary. Uh, but that's where we're at. So yeah, we're we're on to the ridiculous details. I mean, this thing is just this thing is just silly. Um, but you know, it's it's like if you've watched any of my other videos, um, then. It's like there's a mouse hiding in the um, one of the sandboxes on the 16 millimeter simplex. I'll stick a link to the video for that in the description if you haven't seen it. Um, and um, on the tiny little the, the 014 Clayton model I built, um, the reversing gear lever is in like 10, 11 parts or something stupid, and it's tiny, um, but it's one of those things where if you're going to go to town on the details, why not, you know, why not go to town and have, um, have fun producing those. Um, so yeah, so, so I've had fun and got my fingers stuck to everything with super glue, but, um, I think we're, as I say, we're definitely moving in the right direction and we're moving a lot faster than we did with, um, with Tally Lin. Um, I say partly because I've got the, I've got the parts from the, from the detailing kit. So things like the cab and stuff, I didn't really have to think about. Um, but it's nice to be able to spend time on the details. So I'll get this primed, um, <clears throat> and then we'll um, we'll have a look at other details for the body. I think will be the next thing for the outside. Um, as I say, all the pipe, all the pipe runs uh, across the the boiler um, are probably the main next thing uh, before I can do any more painting on that. Um, so that's where we are. So I didn't quite expect to be able to report on this in the talk about this in the um, at the end of this video um but actually the weather was slightly uh better than i expected i managed to grab a dry reasonably warm moment 
um, to spray some primer over this piece um, so we can have a, a better look at uh, the back head now I've added the details and um, you can see now that um, it's painted um, it looks neater I'm not saying it's brilliant again it's 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 reputa rep representational that I'm going for not um, complete accuracy but you can see now we've got the shelf the regulator the sight glass the firebox door um, all in place and looking um, a bit neater than they um, than they were in just their, their kind of raw raw form um, obviously that I'll still need painting it's just a, it's just a, a primer coat for now um, you can also see that where I added the splashes at the front this one looks okay this one the splasher was done so that essentially it fits it's supposed to fit flush at the sides uh, with the foot plate but you can kind of still see where it fits um, so I'm probably gonna have to maybe smooth a little bit of filler across that and then file it back um, to um, try and hide some of that the rest of this where I've got scratch marks I'm just gonna get the paint and stuff off I'm not too worried about it it just looked like kind of general wear and tear I think um, but these straight edges here uh, where the 3d printed part fits into the foot plate uh, need dealing with it's just the the way that that one fits if you um, compared with the one on the other side the other one on the other side kind of clips underneath whereas this one fits flat in the hole um, so I just need to kind of smooth that out but I think it's looking a bit better and if we um, we can as I say we can get a bit of a better idea again of how how this looks in comparison to the the photo we're using um, if we kind of put it together um, so let's just clip this thing together there we go so um, looking through the doorway um, as I say you're not going to be able to see much uh, when it's in in use and filled in but it's got you know there's some detail you can see now you can see the regulator and the sight glass and the shelf and obviously that's going to some of that will be picked out the regulator the sight glass will probably be brass um, <clears throat> rest will probably be kind of mucky oily steel again that the 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 oil can when it goes on will probably be steel I guess uh, and again you can see kind of from that side there's some detail so it's it's about kind of making it so that there's something there for the eye to see rather than um, just a flat plate I think the flat plate would obviously look um, would look more obvious given it, it just breaks up the space essentially having those details in there um, which you know helps helps the illusion essentially um, so yeah so I think that's coming along coming along nicely now um, 